hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video as promised i am showing you how you can do in painting with this flux one turbo alpha laura which is based on the celebrated flux one dev model yesterday we covered the first part of this video where we saw how can we do the text to image generation in this video which you can check out on my channel where we check uh, check that how can we install this flux one turbo alpha lora from hugging face on top of our flux model and then how can we generate images from text in very high quality and we also saw that it adds really good aesthetics on top of the images for this uh, turbo alpha lora there are two functionalities one is t2i or text to image generation which we saw yesterday the other one is in painting that is what we are going to see today this lora is a eight step distilled lora trained based on flux one dev model they have used a multi-head discriminator to improve the distill quality and this model can be used for in painting control net and other flux related models the recommended uh, configuration is what I'm going to show you in this one but as is the spirit of this channel we are going to start from scratch as how this works and then we are we are going to install it step by step I will also be explaining all the key concepts which we see in this video so stay tuned also if you don't know how to install Comfy UI please go to my channel and then search for this video with comfy ui and the second video is the one which will uh, get you up and running with comfy ui in no time so i'm assuming that you already have installed comfy ui plus you have already installed flux one dev model and you have lora already installed if you don't know how to do that as i as i mentioned earlier please just go to my other video which i uh, show you like flux.1 and then go with this first video to see how to install these okay so now that's out of the way let's go to comfy ui which is a tool which we are going to use for this video and we will be proceeding step by step as how to create a workflow with comfy ui so let's get started first up on the left i am just going to add one node and i will be adding it uh, as we go so just bear with me and if you're following along you can just do uh, as i go so first up this clip text and code node i have obtained for the prompt and then next up we need to put in clip loader which is for our clip models for flux i'm just going to call it maybe dual clip loader as i'm doing this live so you have to bear with me that i will be fumbling a bit already the flux model is installed so i'm just going to show you how i am setting these nodes so the flux needs two clip models so both of them are now set also i'm going to use another node called as anything everywhere and i will show you what that is in a bit so i'm just going to join it with this uh, clip here now before we proceed further i would highly suggest you go to manager and you would need to install that manager and then click on custom node manager and these are three custom nodes you would need for this video first up you would need comfy ui impact pack so the first one just click on install and should be uh, able to install it it enhances facial details and quite a good uh, custom node uh, second you would need is use everywhere this is just um, to connect different nodes together and it is quite good and i will show you its usage when we use it so make sure you also have this use everywhere or ue nodes as we call it and third and foremost you would need this kj nodes for comfy ui this is quite a versatile one i use it in most of my workflows so Please make sure you have all of these three nodes installed so once you have installed them you might have to restart your comfy ui just click on restart and it is going to restart and then you should be able to see this anything everywhere here and this node is particularly useful for scenarios where you need to process and communicate diverse data types 
within our AI art workflow that is why I am using it so let's just attach with it okay so that is done next up we need to also specify our flux guidance with this node so just go here say flux guidance and then simply join this conditioning with this and make sure that it is set to 3.5 which is quite good and then from here even you can do this click on search and just say prompts everywhere and then set this node here now this is set to this conditioning so the purpose of prompts everywhere is that to facilitate the integration and management of different prompt types so that is what we are doing here so this is one prompt type and because flux doesn't really support the negative one so we are just going to give an empty one here just going to make it a bit smaller just put it here as a placeholder and then attach it to this one so that is all cool now now next up what we need to do we need to load our diffusion model which is the unit one or uh, flux model i would say so load diffusion model this is where <clears throat> you can you need to select your flux one dev model which is in the unit directory of comfy ui once that's done just grab this and then let's search for our lora so just say load or maybe you can say lora load model only the second one and just click here now you see uh, it just shows us more details here so our lora model is not there now in order to download it just go to hugging face page of this go to files and then scroll down this is the lora model click on it and then you can simply download it by right click save link as and of course you can rename it to uh, maybe we'll just call it turbo alpha and in my previous video one commentator also mentioned it so thank you for that it's already there i'm not sure why it's not showing so maybe i'll just cancel it from here i'm just going back to comfy ui and i'm just going to refresh it from here let's wait for it to get refreshed and then you see that now it is showing me this diffusion pytorch model and of course the good practice is to rename it so that if you have different most of these people just they name it diffusion pytorch it's always a good idea to name it properly so that you would be able to differentiate them so lora model is set let's keep everything as is and then from here let's make it smaller and then from a model just go here and then we just need to do some sampling with the flux so to model sampling flux and this is a flux sampler here most of the stuff should be same so i'm just going to um, set it to one here and then let's keep as is because flux supports 1024 1024 image size so this looks okay to me so so far so good let's move to the right and <clears throat> so because we are doing in pending so we would need our own image for that we would need this maybe load image and i will select any other image shortly so let's go with this one for now and then let's also put in for for from the image do some gaussian blur mask so i'm just going to search for gaussian okay so you see it's not showing me so it means that i would just have to refresh it again let's wait for it okay, again let's go to image search and then blur okay, so it's still not showing me that is fine when that happens just search for like this there you go so if you can't find it the attachment just go here so that is done and then attach to this image with this mask sorry not this image the mask to mask I think that was the reason it was not showing me my apologies okay so but that is all good now because we need to connect image uh, to over another node which i will show shortly so but that is done uh, next up what we need to do we need to 
set mask to sex and i will shortly tell you what exactly that means so just to mask to sex here just put it here just connect this mask to this and then for sex we would need detailer but let's pause here a little and try to understand what this thing is so gaussian blur mask this node is designed to apply a gaussian blur to a given mask because when we do in painting we create a mask on the image or the area we want to change and this node applies a gaussian blur on top of it which is a common technique in image processing to smooth out edges and reduce noise sex is a data format at quite a comprehensive one that includes information required for detailer operations such as mask bounding boxes crop regions confidence label and lot of other control information so this mask to sex this generates sex based on the masks and i will also explain it further when we actually run it and when we create the mask then you will understand more better anyway so we have created this mask to sex we have joined both of these nodes let's move a little here and now from sex let's try to see if we can get the detailer which enhances the image or details it so let's do detailer yep that is the one let's move it a little here now if you look at detailer so sex are already connected here so this detailer uh, sex one this refines the image based on the sex we are getting from here so in this one you see that we have uh, this sex model and then from this is the image we need to connect so this is good sex is done and for uh, the model one you know where we this model sampling flux join this model to this third one that is also done let's leave the clip one for now for variational auto encoder or VAE just double click here and then just uh, type I guess it was load VAE load VAE uh, so that is done so this is our a variational auto encoder which converts image from latent space to pixel space just connect it here so our all of the stuff is connected and then all we need to do is to maybe preview image here I'll just say preview image let's make it a bit bigger so that it will fit in here let's keep it here and join these two so this is the whole flow we needed now let's set some of the stuff here so let's keep most of it will be same um, you can go with seed value maybe let's me put in a slightly larger seed value and I have set these values here so you see that I have just um, I'm just using the sampler Euler scheduler normal denoise is one and for CFT uh, guidance prompt guidance I'm just using one which is complete uh, prompt adherence just 20 steps are fine for this and rest of it is uh, same and let's have a quick look at all of our values everything looks good to me here uh, conditioning is set and now let's set our prompt here and the image so for the image I'm just going to maybe use this image and I'll just say maybe a designer pink shirt of high quality so I just want to put on a pink shirt on this image so that is what my intention is so for that let's first create a mask on it right click and then open in mask editor and you see that uh, this your circle is already there the tool so I'm just going to put in on this arm here and I'm just don't worry about this don't, doesn't has to be uh, too refined or something just make sure that you roughly do wherever you can and that's it that is where that Gaussian blur mask comes in so you just covered this area where I could and then save to note and now I have set it designer pink shirt of high quality so before I run it or maybe I'll run it and then I will explain what happened there so for running just click on this Q prompt here so let's wait for it it is going to load the model and then it is going to 
do your detailer you see detailer is running so let's wait for it it is going to generate the image hopefully it is going to put a pink shirt next designer pink shirt on this image so i'm just going to put it here but there you go so we have our pink shirt of course we can just put something here too if we like but this looks like a good one so what has happened here is if i just walk you through quickly is that we started with our text prompt and then we loaded our model then we did the guidance to the model that it should adhere to this prompt but not fully because we also have our image and then we combine the prompts here just to make sure that it takes all the inputs we set up some uh, image dimensions we loaded our image and then we use gaussian blur mask to make sure um, that to apply the gaussian blur to a given mask not anywhere else and from there we did the mask to sex which means that uh, we just wanted to detail this mask nothing else and that is why it hasn't touched anything else and then we use this detailer to actually uh, create the image in detail and you look look here how good is that this is the beauty of flux and this is how easily you can do the imprinting uh, on top of it so i hope that this was useful i know that this was quite raw but i just wanted to make sure that instead of a edited and very uh, you know cosmetic video you should see that how these flows are uh, these flows get created from the scratch where you have to fumble along you have to install these custom nodes you have to set these settings and then you have to go from end to end so i just like to keep it raw i hope that this was useful let me know what you think if you need this workflow let me know and i uh, just put it in the comment and i will send it to you your email because I'm trying to put it on my GitHub, but it's not for some reason uploading. But anyway, I am very happy to share it uh, without any charges or free. It's all good. So just put it in the comments. Happy to share it with you. But all in all, I think this uh, low rank adaptation model is not only quite good but in, when it comes to text to image generation, but also for the images. So that's it. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.